Well, um, you know what we say, what we hate to say, but we know it's true, is that um, <laughs> Michael Jackson said it best. You can't win. You can't break even. And you can't get out of the game. To have this insulting deal that the Department of Justice tried to do behind the Aubrey family's back, I think it's a travesty. And it further solidifies what our Native American brothers and sisters told us about their dealings with this um, group of people. So as I sit here and I try to stall time a little bit before we go in, you should already know who speak with forked tongue. For them to go behind the Aubrey family back and offer the damn woo, McMichael's men a plea deal. That's what the Department of Justice did. For the federal case. And you might say. Well what's the harm in that. They already got life in prison. In other cases. Well let me tell you. It's a matter of them. Spending their time in a cushion environment. A cushy environment. Or going to state prison. And because they white men. Now. No matter that hideous act. That they committed they're going to be afforded that luxury. And this is why this system has to be torn down, burnt down, whatever, and it has to be replaced with a system of justice. This right here don't happen to black people. Man, it, just, it doesn't happen. And, I mean, this was clearly a murder. The state got it right. But because the federal government <laughs> decides to flip the script and betray the Aubrey family and like, okay, that's enough punishment for women. Well, we're going to figure out a way to not make it so bad because what we know what they did. So we still going to send a message. We still going to send a message. That instead of putting these cold-blooded damn killers where they belong with a bunch of other cold-blooded killers, they decided they want to put them, send them to federal prison. I don't understand how you can make a plea deal after you already be convicted. If there's any lawyers out there, if anybody, y'all, could y'all please ask somebody that question? Please ask attorney, anybody out there watching. I, I've been trying to call my nephew. He won't call me back. I don't know what he's doing. This is insane. I'm glad that this came out in the open because, see, this is too much. They're going to reach a plea deal? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. White supremacy, white supremacy has got to be broken down, y'all. Remember, these dudes already spent two months at home eating some home-cooked meals after they killed a man. And they were so sure they was going to get away with it. 
The God darn damn district attorney, her, uh, the prosecutor, the DA, her ass trial getting ready to come up. Keep an eye on these devils. See, this is devils. This is what you call devilish and devils. And they're going to have to be dealt with. This system cannot sustain itself on black and black bodies. Because that's what all is doing. We provide the coal for these supremacists to keep us in bondage. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nah. What y'all think about that? I mean, because to me, some of, you know, fair game. Maybe some of you guys feel like they've been punished enough. They don't need no more punishment. They need a plea deal. I personally think they don't. I'm just going to put my, my opinion out there right out front. No, I personally don't. Because they aren't remorseful. They don't care. And enough is enough. Don't you think the Aubrey family has been through enough? You already had police lie to her and tell her they sons try to break in the house when you know he didn't. And you still lying, still betraying. Stay strong, Aubrey family. Stay strong. Stay strong. Because they're trying to break you. This is what they do. This is what they do. They've been doing it forever. Keep in mind that Emmett Till trial. Keep in mind. They don't really want to come. They don't, they don't want these guys to have it rough at all. That's for our black asses. Time out for that. Time out. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share the video.